let's be friends. Bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 friends. Bum, bum. Friends are a true gift when they really are friends. Everybody's, um, everybody has a different definition of what friends are to them because they may look one way to one person and someone else they look a little bit different. Um, for me, a friend isn't someone I have to see every day. I don't have to hear from them every day. People like that, who I choose to be like that with in my life, I consider family. I don't consider them as a friend. I consider them as family because these are people, they are so true to my heart that I feel like I need to see what's going on with them every day because I'm like that with my family. Even if all we do is text one another or we'll see a post that someone made on social media and we respond, you know, because we're checking on them. <clears throat> and we have this certain way of communicating that, hey, I'm checking on you, you cool. But no one else is aware that that's what we're doing. And they're thinking they're just responding and that's the response. But as far as friends, for me, um, they are people that... I am okay with the way they are. I don't feel like they have to change. And the way they are does not affect me. They do not impede how they are onto who I am and try to make me or try to push me to change into something or going somewhere I do not care to go to. They are people who accept me as I am and they accept me if I decide to grow and they encourage me to do so. They are not afraid that I am going to leave them. They are not afraid or have any insecurities that I'm going to be better than them. They just like, yeah, you should do this. You know, it's, there's no insecurities is there's always encouragement of, um, what do you need to help you get there? Um, or do you need, how much time do you need? How much space do you need? Do you need to be left alone? Those who are really my true friends, they know I need these things. And they respect these things for me. If I need space, they respect it. If, I, if I'm not around for a while, they respect that. They respect that that's part of who she is. Now, they do say, you cool? You need anything? And I'll let them know if I need anything or not. Most in general, I don't. I just need time and space. And they're cool with that. There are some of my friends who had to learn that that's what I needed because they came from a place where there was so many insecurities of losing people who they loved in their life. And they weren't used to how I am. And I had to tell them, look, this is me. This is how I am. There are times where I need my alone time as much as I love being around people. And I am very extroverted. I am. I'm very extroverted. I love socializing. I love being around people. But I also love my alone time. I need to think. And I do a lot of meditation. And it's hard to maintain that when you're around people all the time, like you need a break because there's so much exchange that is happening between you and that person or people that are in your circle. And that's another thing. There are people I have who are friends and then there are people who are in my inner circle. My inner circle, I do not treat as friends they are considered extended family, but they are in a tucked away place separate from my family, if that makes sense. I have two people right now in my life who fit that description and we communicate every day. 
Like there's not a day that doesn't go by that we do not communicate. They are tucked away in a certain place in my heart. And I'm good with that. And they're good with that. And we just don't trust any other person to be in our circle right now because it's just the three of us. It's one male, two females. Um, none of us live in the same state. And I love it. I love that we all come from a totally different place. Everybody learns from everybody. There's never a time where it feels like one person is trying to usurp the other person. Everybody accepts everybody for the way they are. And that's just what it is. We learn from each other. No one puts anybody down. And those are people that I tell my darkest, deepest secrets to. And I know it's not going anywhere. And they do the same thing with me. Now, the other people who I consider besties, my besties are not that close to me. They are my best friends. And what I mean by best friends may be a little bit different than what you consider as best friends. These are not people I consider closest family. They're not. Um, I, I have them in a certain place in my heart, but they're not tucked away to where no one else can get to them. They are people I consider, if I need something, they right there. Just like the other people I consider my family, but it's still different. With the people that the ones that I consider my close like family and I have them tucked away um, because it's that special. It's a tight, it's just a connectivity that I can't get from anybody else. And it's not something I can explain. It's just is. Um, now my besties, we don't see each other or hear from each other a lot either. And we are all scattered all over America too. There is two of them who live here in my town with me. The rest are all over the place. And it's not that many of them. It's um, just a handful. Just a handful. It's only, um, it's four of us. We're all female. Actually, there's... Is four females, two males. These people I consider my besties. No, wait a minute. It's not four. It's three. Three females. Yeah. Three females, two males. So that's five people. One hand. Yeah. Those are my besties. And it's not that often that we talk. We reach out to one another once in a blue moon. And these are people, they accept me for the way I am. These people, when I tell them that this is where my life is ready to go, some of them may be like, oh, I didn't know you were thinking about that. I wonder how that's going to work out. Ooh, I don't think I could do that. But let me know how that turns out for you. <clears throat> it's a little bit different than the ones that I consider family. The ones I consider family, there's no question. It's just like, boom, what do you need? You know, now, but at the same time, if they feel like there is some caution there, like, girl, we need to sit down. We need to talk about this. Let's, let's talk about the pros and the cons. And that's how they are with me. My best friends, we don't really talk about the pros and cons, but they always ask me what it is that I need so that I can get to that mark that I'm pressing towards. Um, and we're always concerned about each other. But like I said, it's not necessary for, all, for us to always be around each other. That's the part that I treasure the most. I do because we can not hear from one another for a length of time. And when we meet up again, we pick right back up where we were. And I love it. It's like it never stopped. It's like we keep going. And a couple of them, it's been a few years since we actually 
spoke to one another, but it's like we never stop. I love that. We we check we check on each other. We always ask about one another's growth. Um if someone went through something and we were not aware of it, um, we go back, we talk about it, we process it together, and we talk about what we see, um, what you know, what that person may not have um, seen at that time that they could have grown from, and we help each other. We help each other grow from that experience that is a bestie for me. Then I have my associates. My associates are a little bit different. My associates are usually people I'm around quite often, a little bit more than my best friends and the ones I tuck away. I'm around them a little bit more. I learn a lot from them and they learn from me as well. Um, but I don't hold them as dear as some of them may hold me dear. A lot of them, they consider me as a best friend. Um, some of them consider me as family because of the way I show myself with them. But as I said before, friends and a definition of friends looks different to everybody. It depends on what it is you're looking for, what you need, and what your expectation is. My expectation is responsibility, accountability, and respect. Those three things. Those are my three tops out of all three categories of friends for me, whether as an associate whether they're my besties or whether they my tucked away in my, the crook of my heart family. Those are the three main things and depend on how you show me those things is where I put you. It's only two that I hold in high regard when it comes to that. That's the reason why they are tucked away and I don't share them or anything about them with anybody. Um, that's just what it is, um, because they are that special to me and they get it. They get, they get a part of me that no one else gets because of their high level of respect, their high level of accountability and their high level of responsibility to our relationship to one another, not just to me, but it's a reciprocity. It's to one another, to each other. So that's what friends mean to me.